Today, we're talking about this. Two oranges. You give me the brown and the oranges, and then I would have... No! Well, okay. Well, what if you give me the brown and the... Oh, what you're looking at right now is a clip from Ms. Kiff's stream, and he's using a website called Reactive by Fuji Tech to basically animate the voices in his Discord voice chat, specifically Discord. This is the only thing that this works with, but it can be integrated into your OBS and create some pretty interesting effects. It's very easy to set up, a lot of fun to customize, whether you're using it just for yourself or you and a few friends on Discord voice chat, it is far better than the default who's talking display that Discord currently offers. And I'm gonna show you why. We're gonna set it up for showing you and your Discord voice chat with the default setup, as well as being able to choose your own profile pictures for each member and animate your set profile picture whenever you speak. I'm also gonna show you something that I have seen nobody else doing with this plugin so far. So stick around for that. Okay, so head over to reactive.fuji.tech. Link is in the description. And here we're going to log in with our Discord account. It's pretty straightforward. Just hit login and it's going to ask to access your Discord account. It's totally fine. It is safe. And you hit authorize here. It should bring you to this page. Here we've got three sections that I want to cover. We have config up here. We have links just below and the inactive and speaking images over to the right. In config here, we can see a few options. You can include your own image in the group view, which basically just means if you're in a voice chat and you want to show yourself your profile image, along with the profile images of everyone else in there in the browser source, you can do that. You can also choose to just take that off and not have yours in at all or put yours somewhere else, you know, make yours 20 times larger because, you know, you're the best. There is a bounce effect that you can use whenever somebody speaks or you speak, the profile image will just bounce up once. There is also the dim own active image. Basically, this will dim the inactive image whenever you're not speaking and light up whenever the speaking image is affected. You can show the names of people on Discord if you want, change the image alignment. So basically, if you put in the browser source and you want them to be all centered as they all join, or you want them to come in from the right as they all join, you can change that here. The crossfade effect will gradually fade between inactive and speaking image whenever you're talking. It creates a smoother kind of look if you're not gonna be doing too much to it. It's a kind of nice effect to have. Dim others inactive image basically is for everyone else. It's the same idea as dim own inactive image. Below that, you have the name size, which is grayed out unless you click on show names. You can change the size of that there. And image spacing just spaces the profile images of everybody in your voice chat further and further apart or even closer together if you want to have them really tight knit. The next section is a link section and this is basically how we're going to connect this all into OBS. Now with OBS open, we're going to copy the clipboard, the top one, which is the group browser source. And by top one, I mean top URL. Come over to OBS and we're going to add a browser source. Let's just call this group chat. Paste it in here and right away, you're going to see an image pop up. That's actually the image I'm using right now on Discord. If I unmute my microphone, you should be able to see this pop up whenever I speak. And that's just going to bounce and fade in. You can see whenever I stop speaking, it will dim. This is a group browser source. So it means that if somebody else joins the call, it immediately does two things. It adds that person's image into your group browser source and it resizes the area to fit both images in. You can also see that on the left hand side, my image is a circle with a transparent background behind it. So if you want to use circular images, for example, or just images with some transparency in it, you can do that. But what if, say, you want to have a common look between everybody where everyone has a circular image and your friends have square images as their profile pictures. Well, it's easy to fix that. If we come over to the link section here. You'll see there's an individual browser source for Dave. That's me. And it has a unique ID to it to identify me. This goes for everyone else that joins your voice chat. So you can see down here for Dave Thor, we have a unique ID that also identifies him. But another cool feature is the settings feature right here. Clicking on this, we'll be able to see his profile picture. I think we could improve it. So it's not circular, but I do think it's a massive improvement and a much happier outcome, really. 
And if we close that down now, come back over to OBS, we can see that his profile picture has updated. Now, in theory, if you had a circular profile picture theme or triangular, whatever, you wanted to do something particular with their profile picture and anyone else that joins your chat, you can sit and set all that up for each and every person. And if they leave the voice chat, it'll resize. But the best thing about this is if they join again, it remembers the profile picture that you've set for them. That's pretty awesome, I think. Okay, so we can see here, I've got a bit of gameplay of Street Fighter VI, and I actually want to add in a profile picture for player one and player two. There's just so many games where you maybe are wondering who's speaking, and it'd be nice to kind of see a little profile picture lighten up in their area that looks good. So if I come over here and copy the clipboard, my individual browser source, then we're gonna add that in the OBS, just call it player one. Paste that here and immediately I'll see my profile picture from Discord and it's reacting to my voice as I speak. And I actually just want to put it beside here. Now I'm going to do the same for the other player here. I'm going to copy the clipboard, that URL, come in here, do a browser source and type in player two. And I'm actually just going to right click on player one, hit transform and copy transform. So I get the similar sizing for this one and then I'm going to move that over here and it should be about right. You can see straight away just add something in there. I just really like that. I like being able to see these profile pictures lighten up. You would be able to see people's faces at tournaments and whatnot whenever they're playing against each other. So it just adds that sort of human element into it that I think is really cool. Okay, so we've covered the configuration, how you can do this in different ways, how you can set this up for a group individuals, even changing the profile images of the other people in your party. But we haven't touched on the inactive and speaking images for your own profile. Being able to put in animated stuff for this is such a game changer, I think, especially whenever you alternate between non-animated and animated, kind of like this. Head to nerderdie.com and get some of the finest stream packages on the planet. Like, now. Nine. What you just saw there was Tina Belcher from Bob's Burgers with my voice. I'm sorry about that. And we're going to do that with that image again, but you can do it with any animated image you can find on websites like Giphy or GifCat. We're going to use Giphy just to show you how I find that particular image. I came up and I searched for Tina Belcher. And there is a lot to choose from, but this is the one here. This is the winner for me. So we've got this image here. I really like it. I think it's got her talking and her head's not moving. That's perfect for what we're gonna do. I'm gonna save that to the computer and then I'm gonna head to a website called easygift.com. There will be a link in the description for that. So go check that out. Over on EasyGIF, we are going to go straight to the crop button up here and just upload whatever image it is that you've downloaded. Maybe you wanna practice with the Tina Belcher one. It's totally up to you. Ha! Okay, I've got the image in front of me and it's looking pretty good, but I need it to be a perfect square. If I come down to here in the aspect ratio section and just click square, the crop tool will turn into a perfect square and I can just position that however I like over Tina. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna click on crop image. And if I scroll down, I have my speaking image ready to go. If I right click that and save it, we can use that once we're done with the inactive image. So how do we get Tina to stop talking? It's not that complicated. Thanks. What we want to do is come down here and click on the cut button. And here we're going to cut out pretty much every single frame that has her talking and just focus on one frame. In this case, I know already that it is the first frame, but you can basically go through these and put in each frame until you get the frame you're happy to use as your inactive speaking one. So if I hit cut duration, I'm gonna get Tina just staring blankly, which is exactly what we want for our inactive image. I'm gonna right click that, save it to my computer, and then we're gonna head back over to reactive and get this set up. Back over in reactive, we have a few things to change in the config settings beforehand. One being the bounce effect, we don't need it. We don't need to dim our own inactive image either. And the crossfade effect is not gonna help us for this. So we'll actually turn that off as well because if it is on, it'll show the fade between the animation of her speaking 
and her not speaking and it just won't look how you want it to. Down here, just click on these and upload the inactive and speaking image that we saved to the computer. That's looking pretty good to me. If I take the individual browser source for myself, head over to OBS and you should be used to this by now. Add a browser source. Paste that in there and straight away, Tina comes up and every time I speak, she speaks as well. And I still find this funny as many times as I've done it. So yeah, that is how to effectively set up a talking head animation within this. And you can do this for whatever characters you want. Hopefully this video has been interesting. Hopefully it's inspired a few ideas. I would really love to see what people come up with and how they use this. So jump in the Discord for Nerd or Die and share your creations. Let us know that you've watched the tutorial, how you find it and what you did with it because we just love to see that kind of stuff. Okay, that's a wrap, but I will see you guys in the next video. So from me and Tina, take care. Bye.